Hello again, Rebecca here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Brutus Monroe design team. So I have pulled out some chroma glazes and the plenty of fish um, dye of the month. So I am going to do that rather funny picture of my grandfather. Um, he like never went swimming and he went swimming with, this is like a while ago. Um, I was, you know, probably 10 when this picture was taken. So 30 years ago. And I found it, and I just thought it would be really well to scrapbook some of these, or to use these uh, Plenty of Fish, because I don't have any other kind of uh, pictures, because <laughs> we haven't went on vacation yet. But I'm going to take the Chroma Glaze, and I love the Chroma Glaze, you guys. So that first color was Sapphire, and now I'm coming in with the Metallic Silver. And I'm just using my palette knife and just swiping it down. Um, and then I'm going to kind of blend the silver into the sapphire just to give it um, an oceany look because I'm going to use these little ocean creatures. Off screen, I did go ahead and <laughs> cut out the little octopus and the little crabby crab, and I did several of those. Um, I will be using the mermaid once we get back from vacation because we will be going to the beach as well as Disney World. So, um, you know, we'll have my soon to be daughter, uh, stepdaughter in the, uh, on the beach. So we'll do mermaid layouts. Uh, I do take the scraps and the leftovers that I had die cut out the cute little sea creatures and I just pulled them from my scrap bin. Nothing big. And I'm just going to map my photo several times in the layers, just trying to use up some more of those scraps. So I will, um, today is a design team layout, so I will have linked down below all the Brutus Monroe products that I used. And if you would like to pick any of them up, I will also have my affiliate link down below as well. Um, if you click on that, it doesn't cost you anything, but it does just, you know, help support my channel a little bit. So I do appreciate everyone that does um, use the affiliate link. So I do take the little octopus, and I don't use all of the pieces of the dies that come with this. Um, but I do take the little guy and stick him on his little background. And I probably should have used a white, but I really liked the tone on tone. So now that this is dry, I decided to come in with the Chroma Glaze in Sherbert. <laughs> and just get a little bit more texture to it. Now, you were probably thinking, okay, this looks a little silly, Becky. And yes, I agree. But I still have more plans with this background. Um, and that is the... Uh, trying to think of the name of that die or that stencil and I am looking it up in my big book of Brutus Monroe fun um, it is the mixed media stencil in circle tone all right so this is all dry now I'm going to come in with my ruler and I am going to tear this mixed media background up and I start doing some wonky angles too I don't want them all straight so you'll see here I just kind of go for it and then we are going to piece them somewhat back together in a crazy pattern to create the base of my layouts. I do like this little, and I put this up here, this little glob up here at the white, at the on the white, because I wanted to um, have it peeking out from behind my photo as well. So I am going to do some rather large um, tearing right here. I do come back and do a little wonky tear and make that a little thinner. So here we go. I'm just going to layer these down. I don't want them to go in the same order. That was, you know, what the texture was all about. So I'm going to start adhering all of this down. Now the Chroma Glaze is so beautiful. It is so smooth. Like, <laughs> I don't even know. It's like, when you like touch it, it feels so pretty. And the colors are true, you guys. The one thing that I always say about the Brutus Monroe products is unlike any other that I've ever played with or used, to where when they dry, they're lighter or they're a totally different color than what you were expected. No, Brutus Monroe, whatever color it says that it is and the color that it looks like wet is the color that it pretty much dries. Like the only one that doesn't do that is the Velveteen Glaze and it doesn't dry a different color. It just goes on shiny and it dries completely matte. But that is for another day. So I do get those on there and then I just trim down um, a fourth of an inch on each side so that I can mat it in this beautiful blue cardstock. Nothing special with the cardstock that I used. I just wanted to 
um, border that to kind of bring the blue into the forefront and then we have that sandy tone right there I realized that those wonky angles that I had went with kind of look a little silly and I'm also going to put him on the other side of the layout as well because he was walking that way and it looked like he was like walking off the layout so we get him stuck over there at a weird angle and I'm going to come in with these cute little octopuses and create my three little clusters now I have three octopus and four crabs so I do get all of them on the layout I'm gonna pop this guy up right here with some Brutus Moreau foam tape <laughs> you guys know I'm addicted to Brutus Monroe. like if I was if I lived anywhere near the store which is in Pittsburgh Pennsylvania I would just have to work there I'm not gonna lie because I'd have to like I'd have to work there to be able to support my Brutus Monroe habit so I get that little guy popped up and then I'm going to take these cute little crabbies and I'm going to scatter them around with the octopuses. And if you knew my grandpa, you would understand why I chose octopus and crab. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he, he is, he, I actually live in his house. <laughs> he passed away several years ago when I was going through a messy divorce and I ended up purchasing his house from my mom and her brothers. So He's always close. I do take some of the Chroma Mist, which I love the Chroma Mist as well, you guys. They are, if you've ever seen me use any of these, you know, super bold. So the first one was the Cobalt Blue, and then the white one is a Pearl Shimmer Mist, and I get, I want I want it to splatter a little bit, so I do just go ahead and put it right down there on my Glassboard Studio mat. Grab some water, and I... I'm going to basically make my faux sand that has water splashes on it, you know, because the sea creatures are playing. I'm going to make it shimmer like sand does. So I just take water, paintbrush, and just, sh you know, splatter it all down. And I don't want the big splatters, which is why I'm not using the nozzle. I'm actually just tapping it, see, and just getting just a few little. And then I come in and add a little bit more onto the um, mixed media part. But that's it for today's layout, you guys. I do come in off screen and add a title. I forgot to do that on screen, so I apologize. You will see that right there. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Don't forget to go check out Brutus Monroe. And I will see you guys tomorrow for another video. Bye.